Ma mi chè se... Dr. Jonathan Santiotri, Abba Humane Soa. Dr. Pachotti Mika. Mama, mi chè wunka pa. Very well, very well, very well. Yes, so ni e pesi e nya e better understanding from where you sit as a political science lecturer. Na, ye nya a good understanding of Enra Nisi e wom Rashi Bidjom. First of all, uh, political ramification, just you perceive the immediate political ramification of this declaration uh, for the parties involved. Yo, I mean, 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 uh, it's testament to something. What is it? It shows you the the party in government. Almost to me and manage the internal affairs very well. Now, so what manage internal affairs very well? When to me and manage comfort and duty. When to me and team comfort and that moment take the greater place in Asia. This is what you have. If you know, you can see that every you probably don't say a sofa in Parliament. Especially me, you know, I two is that I'm a MP, so I'm not independent. So it tells you, sir, the party has not been able to manage its internal affairs very well. I see. Well, NBC has won. Mm. And that's in itself, you know, so, and so it says, on the minimal side, you know, uh, that aspect also very well. Uh, I don't mention mm -hmm. yeah, share, yeah, share ramifications now. Definitely. So, what you want? Oh, hi, we need a couple of women. Who was the period? No, I'm maybe about the free of Korean swan. I'm going to say, she shared for four B. Some agreement to be a very controversial. At the court parliament for approval. And this has been something that has been happening over the three years. And you have a for. Now, with this, the teaching and the state of affairs, it will be very difficult. It will be very difficult to say, let me let me see, and go through. What that means is that the state itself, the state of Ghana, will benefit from such a decision because at the end of the day, it will prevent. The party in government, the sitting president and the vice president, to pass certain things that are very controversial, but to not ignore to the benefit of the state Ghana, but ABR, Ebenko, and Kwanko Afa. A case in point, I hear tax waivers. Robert, you know who tax waivers are? It's a pull up, you chop for tax waivers, and yet, that is what. Now, with this situation, Omaya will bleed it. Mungu ya tu wa wuni timu kwa ndo ya 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 I see. I trust to you. Mm -hmm. I trust to you. Of course, uh, uh, you are now going to have a majority leader coming from the opposition, and then a minority leader, and a majority leader becoming a minority. Now, the the point of law and and some political consequences is that. Uh, in as much as the party in government basically has a difficult power, it means to say the young leader will become a minority, right, but he will still be the leader of government business. A better leader of government business in parliament. It's not say executive is normally the member and back to the legislature for approval. It's, you know, so a senior man can be the leader of government business. Or Minister for Parliamentary Affairs. But it appears to say, even Prime Minister Bosu is still the Minister for Parliamentary Affairs. 
And that position, let me say, is used to me. Because you don't have anything like that. It is just to say, African American is now the majority leader. So now, tables have 10. He's going to be the minority leader. But then he'll still be the leader of government leaders. Very so well. what effect is that? Yes. The Tiano, what that means is that if you return to parliament, and if the school and the remaining remains the same, it means you now need more of the the majority leader. That is not a question person. You need him more to do government business. So the leadership, the minority, the minority which has become majority now, the majority which has become the minority now, we need more of the current majority they are cooperating here and there. If you know, I have more of negotiation, skill, tact, convincing arguments, strategic arguments, to be able to encourage them to buy into that. Now the fifth thing is that the MDC that has become majority, they will have to be very careful because the MPP can play them to the gallery by playing them to the winds and the emotions of the Ghanaian populace. And I'm here to say, I am over here majority, you know, the CRM, who see government, I find Emma, I can come past the year, I don't find Ghana, and they, I find the city, you know, more than one number, no, eh, they put it for city. That could have some consequential effect in the 2024 election. And you know, they will equally have to be very taxable when they have become the majority. So these are some. But, but okay, that, that's but, a, yeah, that's the final one. No? Yes. Final one. I also negotiating here. That could mm. also mean that yeah. government will have to be giving money. I see. Government will have to buy off some people, which is rare. <laughs> they will have to be targeting some of the minority members <laughs> in the background. Some of the majority today in the background and be giving them money when they are sending controversial aid. And then they will expect to say the voting will be secret. If the voting is done in secrecy, then certain things can happen. I see. Um, doc, you shared from this angle. I can just barely bosumi me no near kwakotuaba. And uh if say table not any a bit me are distracted in the government business uh, I mean obi beka say for a whole four years, what me about be here majority uh, when the majority in parliament, I can't just less than Bosumi me no near Kakotua, but not table not any. Is going to have a significant impact? A war a buying government uh, business and of course the uh, the the decision of the electorate. It will, it will, but in a very short time, way. it will, especially if the government have a controversial bill to be and that's a loan agreement to be, and after giving us some contact to some people, we have a, a very controversial. But the majority now will, will, will stifle the process, and that is the main effect. Then, then they will let Ghanaians know that. And then when I'm buying person with them, and the soon Sansonia, the soon Sansonia, you know, it will equally go a step further. It rather make the MPP so more unpopular along the line. It's a question of that. Usually, no. Usually, no. When a bandy have a bill for you, they send controversial bills to Parliament. They send controversial bills to Parliament. I see. Now, a bandy have a bill for you. A bandy have a bill for you. Now that you have the majority, mm. either say you pay your way to, mm. or they sincerely will not allow anything like that to happen. I see. So that the next government will not be saddled with these kinds of problems. So, uh, in 2016, mm -hmm. when NDC had lost the election, uh, so the process of everything went through, and it didn't start to do anything. It started way before that. It is just to say, maybe they did not have to they were going to do, and then they lost. In the Russian Empire, at the end of the day, you know, I know they are more family and come. They came to support Ibrahim Mahama when the Zenaku Fado and Vice President Maomir took over. Ah, they managed to work as me. That is some of the controversial. 
I see. So at the end of the day, I think it's that Ghanaians will be better off. Mm. It is going to humble the minority now, the majority to minority. It is going to humble them. They are going to approach issues with humility. I see. And these are some of the effects mm. that we see a bit to me about one that I know all that we are majority that like, never be a minority. <laughs> That's a dramatic change, you know. Mm -hmm. This could have some emotional consequential effects on the now minority leader because we should minority. That That's why I said that you know when you're marking it's not. Uh, as I say, it's not emotionally mature to to be the majority leader who has now become a minority leader. I see. You are trying to do something. You can now come and say that is not the practice. But okay, so what is what is what is permission here? Go ahead, and then you rather send some kind of a banker, especially one on one with the speaker. He has the power, so in can say uh, he's not going to oblige you with those comments here. Yeah. I see. Uh, Doc, from where you sit as a political science lecturer, is this a uh, Sorry? Political analyst. Political analyst. Uh, analyst, sorry. Now, is this a Sobey and a Ebeba Ediama, both the political, uh, both political parties, a Brian Kosa Batu Wemu? I think it's a testament of the confusion within the MPP. Testament to the confusion within them. Do not manage the internal affairs well. And this will go a long way to affect them. Don't forget that. I'm going to form a independence now. You know, you are a chairman, you are a leader, because he sacrificed for the party, for the party has compensated me duly by reinstating me. If you are not there, you are not going to say But with the other two, I hear you are saying, I know that you are more than you. And that affected the party big time because. Is that the win as independent and And now say, on the panic, vote in the MPP. On the year also, on the free MPP. Now, some of them here, and they see you know, could easily switch to the MPP. If a more strong candidate, and you know, you can want them now. As for me, I don't see how the MPP will win. Now, I'm a fifth center. Yes. And they said, I don't think so, I'm for independent. Mm -hmm. But you see, that place, you know, that place, you know, uh, is for the MDC. Now, this particular person, was one time an MPP. Now, became a DC for the MDC. And then, consequently, I mean, sadly, stood on the ticket of the MDC and won. So, Ushamwa, the MDC now is also on a rising trajectory. It's, you know, as opposition party, you know, among the, you know, that decision, you know, against the Rakan could be more of a matter of disciplinary disciplinary decision. And you know, Ushamwa said if they are able to ensure that about no Juana makes me contest here. I heard I've heard that she's very, very popular and she's very resourceful as well. Very. If you know, yes, uh -huh. if you know, so much to me and the issue of that she contest her. I think you say the independent candidate will be laughing at the wrong side. Uh, it cannot be similar, it cannot be the same as the MPP. Uh, MPP, in the past, there were been when you have the coercive force on your side. Let's say, when you are a man of women, they die independent from no one corner. Then it is a very big problem. I see. Now, you have the role of the speaker. I mean, uh, the Speaker of uh, Parliament, in uh, his exercise of his duty as a speaker, now all declared those seats vacant. Uh, now, the minority, majority now the minority, I accuse you, say it is a conspiracy. And uh, now, NDC for any or more speaker, because the, the speaker is assumed to be an NDC uh, member of Parliament. I mean, a member. I didn't say why a member of parliament for 28 years before becoming a speaker. The, I mean, I say, we well, can't in favor of the uh, the NDC. Now, you hear the rule of the speaker now. The, the judgment and the pronouncement, was it the right call? So, okay. Uh, I think you have to deal with issues of the procedural and then substantive law. Um, I think the speaker, the speaker has been very fair and firm on the ground with respect to the way we're relating with the MPP and the NDC. 
Don't forget, most of the time you go, I cause to complain against him. I mean, I'm going to So, I'm going to talk to him. But I'm not going to talk to him. But I'm not going to talk to him. But I'm not going to talk to him. 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 The legislature, he wants the legislature to be very strong and then the executive, either today, tomorrow, or whatever. That has really been the position. And if you know, uh, it is either here or here, of course. As I say, here we have something. The party. And that's the more reason why they are trying to power. So you can excuse me on that. But let us look at it. Let me say, I have a two way, I have a two way. One, the speaker can rely on the, uh, the uh, president, former speaker, no, I think. That is, as communicating a chairman from parliament. After the party said, generated the world the world, actually, I come and say, people will really be able to fight because they are all independent. And they should not take the necessary action. And the, the speaker then relies on procedure and substantive law in his judgment. If you remember, I say, so you are bad, and then go according to. You are sick and not here. And you are And then, we start to the other two, and are They are they should stay in Parliament. Why? Because uh, the procedure adopted by the previous speaker, some you know, the party itself has no complaint. And of course, the party cannot complain when there's no very much money number. Because who can you find a real one that's a money? Though some come a majority, a lot of majority in parliament. Ah, the money is here, man. Come on, buy a stand from me. Come on, buy a one. Come on, buy a one. Because who can you? We are going to solve our issue. These two are going to do something that I don't accept the MPP. The yeah, chances in terms of parliamentary activity, and then uh, is it uh, argument? It's in common here, Shanghai. But who is the case? Okay, number. It's a mistake of the number three or many. Unfortunately for them, no. Okay, they are more than a court. I'm a court, no. Echo will say, oh, it's a lot of money. So that's actually due to the attention of the NBC. If somebody wants to raffle for the VIA, they have to pay a and hence the petition. If you know, on the issue of law in India, it's not merely procedure adopted from the former speaker. When the speaker did yesterday, it's not for. And it's by parliamentary process. It's correct. And he's not siding with anybody. There you are. Um, Dr. Uh, Jonathan, I mean, I mean, with the education out there, I think it's enough for, for us to also see uh, be a better understanding of how procedure and is sequoia edit the way in some as a course of our parliament. But we bitchly had you be my best answer about so any other. Finally, finally, media, who's a year of Mark Emilia, some now for the Supreme Court. Yes, yes. Until the Ogre rule, they are not going to. I think I said that in itself is equally dangerous. That would mean that until the determination, government business is going to suffer. <laughs> and I think uh, that is very unwholesome. That's why I said uh, he is not emotionally mature to mm. know that. Mm. Uh -huh. mm. You mm. ought to be there mm. and deal with the situation. The Supreme Court can rule in your favor mm. so that by the time you know who is that problem is the oh, now you are going to stampede your way through to be able to do that. I see. And that for me is very wrong on the spot. Uh, and see. finally, okay. I don't want to preempt what the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. But if you look at my argument, they could, if they so wish, look at procedure and substantive law at the same time. Very well. And by procedure, if they adopt the previous seekers uh, in direction. Mm. And for practical reason, that to me is uh, to whom any Aguna uh, is, you know, who come back. But the other two, the other two, and also square procedure, mm. and that in itself, uh, the other two procedure procedure, yeah, and the ATM will be out. Okay. Then from the NDC, the NUC will also come back because it falls within the same way as the MPP. 
Very well. Yeah, Morrison. Very well. Uh, what how they, they may want to go by it, but if some sentence out there, I think it's a woman in hand, they'll be out. May that's it. Thank you, Dr. Jonathan Asant, uh, Asante Ochre. A uh, political science analyst at the University of Ghana. Onuya, 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 95.1 FM. 95.1 FM. Yeah, Jinemo. 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 Jinemo.